Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is 24 and Unsure and I'm Rachel. So today I'm going to do a little meal prep for you. Um, I meal prep our lunches every week for Matt and I. Um, I usually do two different lunches, um, three of one meal and two of another meal. Just to break up the week, I cannot eat the same thing every day or I'll lose my mind. Um, so we're doing my like the probably the, one of the easier food preps that I usually do. Um, we're making a taco salad, a healthy taco salad, and we're also making shepherd's pie with a cauliflower crust. It's in the Skinny Taste, um, one of my favorite <laughs> recipe books. Um, we like this a lot for dinner, so I was like, oh, I'll just make it for a meal prep because it's easy. And so that's what we're going to be making today. Um, I'm going to basically be doing both, and I'm going to show you what I do. If you like the recipe, um, it's definitely like on her website on Skinny Taste or just the book because honestly it has the best recipes in the world in it but i'm going to start cooking for you don't mind like my hot kitchen mess and like what i do but i'm going to do my very best on explaining you how i meal prep so here we go so what i'm going to start off with here i'll angle this better for you guys i'm going to start off with the ground turkey um i doesn't really i get the one with the, like the most lean so this is 94 percent lean and I'm basically just gonna throw this right in. This is going to be for the taco salad. That is cooking. I'm going to also put in for the shepherd's pie. I'm going to season this and put this in to start cooking. I don't, I follow the recipe a little bit for skinny taste and then I kind of do my own thing. It's kind of like what I like about cooking. Like you don't need to go right by the book. I'm using a cast iron pan for that one because for this recipe, I'm gonna start cutting for my taco salad. But yeah, um, we've been, I've been meal prepping for us since we moved in together. It makes our lives like a thousand times easier because um, we are just really busy and we don't have time to think of meals. So I just think of them throughout the week. pepper to my salad on um, starting this but I may cut mine up into little um quick squ squares because I like everything chopped finely not like super fine but I don't like chunks of things in it I like it all mixed in I'm just gonna throw some in each salad nothing specific just like this that's what's gonna look like it's not gonna be pretty it's gonna get tossed, so I don't really make it that pretty. Next, what I'm going to do for the taco salad is get an onion. I'll show you and cut that. some corn for right again doesn't need to be pretty you're gonna mix it all up anyway again just throw it all right in it does not need to look pretty and I don't know why people think it needs to look pretty it's just gonna go in your stomach and like that's just a little bit of water in taco seasoning. I use 25% less sodium. Taco salads. We're gonna add some jalapeno slices next. I think the add jalapeno slices is like such a good little idea. It gives it a, some little spice, some little flavor. I chop them up finely. Sprinkle them right on top. So that's basically it for the taco salads. Um, I am not gonna put the meat on top because I like to warm up my meat um, before putting it on the taco salad. So I'm gonna put those in a separate container, but that's basically what it looks like. Oops. Those are the ones, um, again, the recipe calls for something a little different, but this is just what's easier for us and me. So I'm just gonna throw them right in. 
chicken broth. I think it calls for a cup. Worcestershire sauce. Okay. Mix that all together. Okay, so we need to do two tablespoons of it. So we cauliflower crust. It's really simple. You're going to just get cauliflower, which I thought we had, but I have only a little bit, and then I have the rice cauliflower, so we're just gonna make do. And we're gonna get your food processor, which I don't have, and we're gonna use a um, Nutribullet. Put it all in. So basically what it says, put cauliflower right in, because that's what we're there for. So we're just gonna throw them all in. Okay, that is done. And then I'm gonna use this too. Throw this in here. This is low fat buttermilk, it needs some butter. It needs, you need a tablespoon of butter, two tablespoons of butter, and um, a th one third cup of buttermilk. I don't like to measure. Okay, I just want it to be very like chunky still. That looks like mashed potatoes. Um, I'll show you what it, I kind of like that. I'm going to add some garlic to the meat. It asks for, I, it's supposed to be good garlic cloves. I use minced garlic. I asked for about two. So that is what it looks like. It smells really good. So it says take off heat. I'm going to put this on top. says to sprinkle paprika all over. Okay, now I'm going to draw down the oven for 20 minutes and let's stay tuned. So that's what it's basically gonna look like. Literally, it came right out of the oven. But thank you so much for tuning in to 24 and Unsure. I hope you liked my little meal prep. If you do like this, I will do so much more to give you guys some ideas on what to do. Um, some healthy, easy ideas. And yeah, thank you so much. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.